Modern Family Spec, Helping Hands, written by Chai Carr, Season 8, Episode 1. Cold Open. Exterior, Dunphy House, Street, Morning. Morning at the Dunphy House. Interior, Dunphy House, Kitchen, Morning. Alex is at the table, typing away. Luke walks in, yawning. Oh, hey Alex, forgot you were back. I've been here for a week. It's Saturday, why are you up so early? It's 11 a.m. I'm looking for an internship and trying to find my career path. Unlike you, I already have a career path. Working at the pool to Google Girls in bikinis is barely a job and possibly a crime. Phil enters. Well, if it isn't thing one and thing two. What does that make Haley? Sally Walton? I'm Dr. Seuss, obviously. Claire enters. Here comes the Grinch. Luke and Phil high five. Claire stares them down. Alex, after I get home from work, we are going to practice for your interview. Girls night! Yay! Uh, honey, I can help you prepare. No, no you can't. can't. Cut to title. Act 1, exterior J and Gloria's house, street, morning. Morning at J and Gloria's. Interior, J and Gloria's house, bedroom, morning. Jay's alarm goes off. He gets up. Gloria is already dressed. I am so excited. I cannot wait to be back in the classroom. Don't remind me. Also, it's a 40 and up introductory computer class at the public library. Excuse me for not being proud of myself. Don't be such a Debbie Downer. This is exciting. Every cloud has a silver line. Have you been reading the book of idioms? We'll cross that bridge when we get. Now, come on, let's go. Man made breakfast. Elvis has to leave the building. Jay deadpans into camera. Jay and Gloria interview. Jay is having some trouble adjusting to the new computer systems at work. At the company I created. Can you believe it? He's being very mature about it. Interior, Jay and Gloria's house. Kitchen, continuous. Manny serves up two plates of breakfast. How oh, are my two little rascals? Don't get cutesy, kid. Jay, I'm proud of you for taking this step. You don't usually do this. Do what? Cry out for help. That's it. I'm out. I'm just kidding. Come on, Jay. Don't cry over spoiled milk. Look, I already told Mom, but I would be willing to help you two on the side. You're kidding, right? I'm no expert, but I think I know a couple of things that could... No way! I barely trust you with breakfast. Jay takes a bite. Damn, this is good. Come on, Gloria, let's go. Exterior, Mitchell and Cameron's Missouri home. Street, a modest colonial-style home. Mitchell interview. Missouri is being, what's the word, fun? <laughs> it's by fun, I mean human, and cabin fevery, but then yes, I, I guess I do mean fun. Interior, Mitchell and Cameron's Missouri home, living room, day. Mitchell is reading on the couch. Lily and Cam burst in through the door. Cam is holding a football. Lily runs a route into the living room. Cam and Lily begin playing catch over Mitchell's head. He's not loving it. Here comes the quarterback. All state from St. Francis High, Cameron Tucker! Lily runs a route into the living room. He's got a heck of an arm and an even better target. Here she comes, little maestro Lily Tucker. Pritch it! Cam throws the ball. Ball's in the air and it's caught! Can you believe it, folks? Touchdown, Tucker Pritchett! Lily begins an elaborate touchdown dance. She's joined by Cam, who plays We Are the Champions on his phone. Mitchell interview. Lily and Fun Daddy are happier than ever, but Daddy Hothead feels out of the loop. I've never really been her favorite, which is fine. Interior, Mitchell and Cameron's Missouri home, continuous. I have to say, Lily's getting to be quite the football player. I ran a post route from the 35 and scored, and then I ran a variable. I don't understand any of those words. Daddy was right. You are a tight end. Mitchell is shocked. He walks out. It's a real position. Mitchell interview. No, you know what? It's not fine. I don't want her to, to openly spend time with Cam. I've got things to bring to the table, too. I'm fun. Sometimes I listen to music without headphones. I'm fun. Interior, Haley's car, day. Haley is driving. She receives a FaceTime call from Andy. Again? Hey, Andy, what's new since two hours ago? Hey, gorgeous. I had a ham and cheese sandwich for lunch with horseradish in it, which was weird and different, but I still liked it. Speaking of liking things, I do you. I do like you. That's great. You rode horses? Wow. Are you listening to me? Of course. 
course. Tell me more about your fascinating day. If you don't want to talk to me, that's fine. Oh, crap. Haley is being pulled over. Haley, is everything okay? No. I'm getting pulled over. Exterior street continuous. Cop car pulls behind Haley's stopped car. Cop gets out and walks over to her window. Young lady, correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought I caught a glimpse of a phone in your hand. Haley hides her phone under her leg. Me? Use a phone while driving? It ran your plates and you've been pulled over before, but no tickets or fines were issued. Why is that? Are you kidding? Haley adjusts her legs. What was that? What? Nothing. It's hot. The, the seats are made of leather. Noises can happen. Take it out. Haley reluctantly hands the phone to the officer. It's because she's gorgeous. Try saying, ma'am, I'm going to have to give you a ticket to that face. Beat. Ma'am, I'm going to have to give you a ticket. Interior library, computer lab, day. Jay and Gloria walk into their first computer class. It's full of gray and shiny heads. It looks like Florida invaded and won. At least we're the youngest kids in the class. Not sure that's a point of pride. Hello, beautiful. What's your name? Nice try, buddy. She's married. To this one. You're married to that old coot? <laughs> Gloria laughs. Old man walks off. Jay is stumped. At least you're hearing it from the horse's mouth. Good one. The instructor walks in. He's a preppy nerd type. All right, class. Let's take our seats. That means you, Grandpa. <laughs> Kidding. The class laughs. Jay's not pleased. Interior Cam's office, day. Cam and Lily sit in his office, intently watching game film. Rookie mistake by the left tackle. You see that? What a hack. Enter Mitchell. Hey, guys. Hey, honey dude. Get it? It's a combination of honey and dude. Or is it honeydew and dude? You're a genius. Listen, Cam. Can I talk to you for a sec? Sure. Privately? That's usually what people mean when they say, yes, privately. Interior library, computer lab, moments later. Instructor walks around observing the class silently. Jay is frustrated, types, and clicks angrily. Damn. Damn it! Come on! Why are all my letters uppercase? Instructor watches over his shoulder. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> this is classic. Can you just tell me what's wrong? But then, how will you learn? Class? The entire class stops what they're doing and pays attention. What we have here is a CSM. What's that? Glad you asked. A classic senior moment. I knew what it was. I just wanted to let him have it. Listen, buddy, I've had just about enough of your attitude. This is a class. I'm here to learn. Now tell me how to fix it. Sounds like somebody left caps lock on in real life. Big laughs from the class. Jay is defeated. End of Act 1. Act 2, interior, Cam's office, hallway, continuous. What's wrong? I don't know if this is just me being paranoid, but Lily has been spending almost all of her free time with you. If your highness is done talking, we've got game film to watch. Almost done, honey. Listen, Mitchell, I can't force her to spend time with you. Why not? Because you're... What? What? I'm what, Cam? Is Captain Boring down up there? Okay, well, that's my cue. She didn't mean it like that. Mitchell leaves. Interior, dumpy house, kitchen, evening. Claire hovers around Alex, who is seated at the dining room table wearing business professional clothes. If I had to pick three, I would say I'm afraid of making mistakes, I take on too much responsibility, and I can be headstrong. Really? Those are your three greatest weaknesses? Those are actual weaknesses. You're weak if you say those, Alex. You're weak. I'm trying, Mom. I'm sorry. Next question. What do you know about the company? Well, I know that Google was the brainchild of two Stanford PhD students. What started out as a dream eventually became... I'm bored already. I want an answer, not the odyssey. I'm just trying to help, honey. Come on, one more. Fine, I guess. Why should we hire you? I think I'm perfectly qualified and capable, and I've been told I'm snarky in a fun way. Claire holds up a hand and mimes talking. Alex, this is Google. You have to wow them. That cannot be your best answer. Cracking jokes? I expected more from you. I'm trying. You're being pushy. I'm being pushy. Me? When have I... Listen, out there in the real world, it's a pushy place. Claire brings her face uncomfortably close to Alex's. If you can't handle that truth, 
You can't handle the truth. Phil watches from the background, makes eye contact with Alex. Her face says, help me. Interior dumpy house, living room, continuous. Haley is seated on the couch, staring at her ticket. She FaceTimes Andy. Hey, honey bucket. What? No, I have something to say to you. You have to stop calling me all the time. It's too much. I can't just see this much of you when you're so far away. And... And what? Forget it. I don't want to talk to you right now. Luke walks in from upstairs. Here, talk to Luke. Maybe he can help you. Haley throws the phone at Luke and storms out. Hey, Andy. Luke! Where did Haley go? To her room. Young adults, right? I don't know what I did wrong. I've been talking to her every day in, regu in regular three to five hour intervals. Whoa, that's way too many. I should know. I'm something of an expert in digital romance. You have a long distance girlfriend too? Let's just say I have five potential dates in a three mile radius. That's impressive. What's your secret? Puppies. Honestly, it's pretty superficial. I never meet girls in person. That sounds awful. I can barely go a day without seeing Haley's face. Maybe she feels the same way. How would you know that? Like I said, I'm an expert. I haven't found the one yet. I don't even know if there is a one, but if I knew who mine was, I wouldn't leave her side. Luke, that's beautiful. Do you just come up with that? I think so. I know what I have to do, Luke. You're a genius. Andy ends the call. Finally, somebody gets it. Interior, Jay and Gloria's house. Entryway, evening. Jay and Gloria enter. That was so embarrassing. I haven't been patronized that much since boot camp. Don't go off your rocker, Jay. A good one. Off my rocker. That yuppie instructor would like to see me in a rocker, wouldn't he? I wouldn't get caught dead in a rocker and definitely don't want to be alive in the next class. Jay, it's good for you. Expand your horizons. And if you're so upset, just ask Manny for help. Easy for you to say. You were great. The teacher couldn't get enough of you. I hear it. Maybe the computer is one of my secret talents. Manny enters. I heard my name. I was telling Jay to ask you for help. Again. Oh, not to encourage idioms here, but uh, add insult to injury? Absolutely not. Jay, I'm a good teacher. I can really help. You're barking up the wrong tree, kid. Manny and Gloria giggle. Damn these idioms. Jay storms upstairs. Interior, dumpy house, garage, night. Alex sneaks to the door of the garage, a rhythmic knock. Door opens a crack. Password. Grinch. You may enter. Inside the garage sit Luke, Haley, and Phil on one side of a table. Empty chair for Alex on the other side of it. What are they doing here? Three brains are better than one amazing brain. We all want you to do well tomorrow. I think of this as an investment in my future. Yeah, we're here to help you, dork. Alex smiles, takes it all in. Interior, Jay and Gloria's house, garage, night. Gloria clicking competently. Do you have the file ready? I think so. Let's see it. Would you like me to save it as a PDF or email it directly to you? I would like you to show Jay up next class. Like taking candy from babies. They high five. Interior, dumpy house, garage, moments later. Phil looks over a notepad. Let's see here. We've covered jokes, pausing for laughter. Accessories. And puns. Only a couple of things left, but your handshake. How are you going to play this one? Dead fish? The crusher? Princess? Hand hug? Lefty? Maybe just classic? Good choice. They shake. Phil busts out the brownies. Love it. Brownies for you. Brownies for all. Seriously, though, the handshake is important, and you totally nailed it. What's the most important lesson of tonight? Don't tell Mom. You're ready. End of Act 2. Act 3. Interior, Mitchell and Cameron's Missouri home. Evening. Mitchell is seated on the couch while Lily and Cam enter. Do you want to leave me before I suck the fun out of here? Wouldn't want to distract you from all the sports, uh, sports ball you're doing. Lily runs over and hugs Mitchell. Daddy, do you want to do something together? Mitchell is touched. Cameron interview. What did I tell her? I told her spending time with your family is like eating dinner. You have to eat your vegetables so you can get the dessert. To be clear, I'm the dessert in this situation. In every situation. Interior, Mitchell and Cameron's Missouri home. Continuous. 
Oh my god, Lily, I would love to. What do you want to do? Maybe we can make a scrapbook or a collaborative painting. Woo! Try writing a short story. Oh, brother. I mean, yay! Uh, look, honey, we can do whatever you want to do as long as we do it together. Can we play catch? Well, you know what? We sure can. He gets up. Lily and Mitchell begin walking out. Just a warning, honey. The only things Daddy can throw are tantrums and frivolous lawsuits, but I'll do my best. Exterior, Dumpy House, street, morning. The next morning at the Dumpy House. Interior, Dumpy House, entryway, next morning. Alex walks down the stairs, dressed professionally. Phil and Claire are waiting for her. Honey, you look great. Ready to go? I think so. Are you sure you don't want us to drive you? Yeah, I need to do this part myself. Remember everything we talked about. Okay, Mom. Have fun with it is what a total loser would say. Go out there and crush those plebeians! Claire hugs Alex. Honey, I'm so sorry I was so hard on you. I just didn't want you to waste your potential like I did. It's true. You have your mother's brain. Luckily, she's got my looks, too. Ouch. Thanks for your help. Alex heads out. Wait, honey, before you go, use the opening line about traffic. What are you talking about? Phil and Alex lock eyes. How does she know? The traffic was so bad I graduated on the way over here. That's the one. Interior, Jay and Gloria's house. Kitchen the next day. Jay comes into the kitchen. Man, he is cooking breakfast. Morning. Listen, kid, it's not easy for me to say this, but I'm sorry. For what? For not believing in you. You're a smart, smart kid. I'd be lucky if my own kids were half as good at cooking breakfast and putting up with me as you are. Thanks, Jay. That really means a lot. And I'll tell you what, I could use a little, you know. You're going to have to say the word, Jay. Help. Okay, help. I need your help. I, I need it. You happy? Let's just say I've saved this moment in my brain's hard drive. Oh, don't get cute, kid. Now, let me try some of that. <laughs> now, this is the best thing since sliced bread. They smile. Interior, Dumpy House, entryway, continuous. I'm leaving now. Alex heads toward the door. She opens it and Andy enters. Mr. Dumpy, Mrs. Dumpy, Alexis Soros. What a pleasant surprise. Haley enters from the basement. Hey, I thought I heard... Me? They embrace and kiss. Phil and Claire look on, smiling. I never want to be away from you again. I'll move back here and... Or we can move to a town halfway between... Or we can talk about it. Thanks for coming to see me. You go. They hug. Luke enters from upstairs. I'm a genius. Alex is ignored as usual. Finally feels like I'm home again. Bye, everyone! Bye, Alex! She leaves. Alex interview. Close up on Alex's face. My family knows how to push my buttons. Interior, Dumpy House. Phil and Claire's bedroom. Last night. Claire wakes up, notices Phil isn't there. She heads downstairs. The longer I'm away from them, the more I realize it. Interior, dumpy house, garage, last night, continuous. Claire is outside the garage door, hears the secret training session. That's the best part about having such a big family. Interior, Jay and Gloria's house, bedroom, last night. Jay wakes up, notices Gloria isn't there. He heads downstairs. They bring out the best of me together. Interior, Jay and Gloria's house. Garage, last night, continuous. Jay is outside the garage door. Here's the secret training session. With their help, I can do anything. Alex interview. Zoom out. Alex has a large stain on her white shirt. Except get a job after spilling coffee on myself. Pulls out a notepad. Google is a no. There's always the pool. Tag. Exterior, Mitchell and Cameron's Missouri home. Backyard. Lily and Mitchell are playing catch, sort of. Mitchell is totally out of breath. Daddy, it's only been 20 minutes. I know, I know. We just need a minute. This isn't working, huh? How about we go inside and watch The Bachelorette? End of show.